Alright, let's discuss uh, example 19. Example 19 talks about distinct groups, which is different from the identical groups that we saw in example 18. In this question, they want us to find the number of ways in which six people can be divided into two groups, namely group A and group B. So the same as example 18, among the six of them, I can randomly choose any three of them to form group A. So in this case, I will pick 1, 2 and 3 to be in group A and this will result in 4, 5, 6 being in group B. So we have 6 choose 3 to form group A and subsequently the remaining 3, I will choose another 3 of them. So 3 choose 3, giving me 20. But why in this case we don't have to divide by 2 factorial like what we did in uh, example 18? Because in this case, we have a name for each group. So now 1, 2, 3 is in group A, 4, 5, 6 is in group B. So if I were to pick 4, 5, 6 forming in group A, and 1, 2, 3 being in group B, essentially there is no double counting. Because earlier was 1, 2, 3 in group A, now 1, 2, 3 is in group B. That's the reason why in this case we don't divide by 2 factorial. So the result is 20.